All right, y'all, part two. Let's go ahead and finish this beat. Let's go through some more and see what we come up with. Let's add some air candy with this road sound that I found in the uh, Roland Integra. Classic warping stereo type wave sound or road sound. Let's see what else we can get out of this. If we recorded a guitar and then reversed it, what would that sound like? reverse that and see what it sounds like. Okay, I could edit that. Let's try. Let's see what Shaper Box does to it. drive and see what it sound what it does nah that drive that drive gives it gives it that you know that you know what I mean
transfer, but I don't see what happens. That's what I want. Let's print that. And then we'll flip it again. Let's take out some of this mud and low mids. All right, let's see. Let's add a little verb to it. Let's go to Valhalla. You know, before I put the verb on, let's, let's do a little compression before we um, add the reverb to it. So the compression tames it a little bit. Let's add some verb to it now. See if we can uh, wash it out, send it to the back of the mix. Cut a little more of the resonant frequencies that I'm hearing on the top end. So let's do that before the reverb. Make it dynamic since it's just on the parts where it's spiking.
So let's blend that in now with what we had already. add that filler kick in or the kick fill and then I'll duck that under the main kick pattern Let's kill some of the rumble in it. y'all so that's part two um part three we'll add we'll build the track out i'll copy all of this over and then we'll start taking our elements doing our drops and so forth and wrap it up all right so as usual thank you for sitting in please remember to subscribe share this with somebody please all right don't forget to press the like button also so we can run it up run it up run it up